What's going on? It's your boy Soda Man. We all check. Let's get it. We not on the same, we not on the same page, we not on the same, we not on the same page, we not on the same, we not on the same, we not on the same, you need to leave me alone, you need to leave me alone, bitch, you need to leave me alone, 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 you need to leave me alone. So last time we had the interview, finished it, everything was completed. Then somebody ran off my laptop, so I don't have the footage no more. So we back here again. Facts, facts, facts. All right, so first and foremost, where did you get the name Soda Man from? Um, basically, uh, Soda Man it really came from. It was kind of like it started off as like three different words, like so dumb man type shit. But like, I mean, niggas just started saying it as one. It was, it was getting hard explaining to niggas like, yo, he's Soda Man. So like, chatted that shit together, and then like the, the soda emoji. Made that shit. We just everything just came together. So I feel. Have you always lived here, or where are you from? Uh, shit. I'm Nigerian. You know, I'm kind of Nigerian, so Nigerian, 100. Have you always made music, or? Um, yeah. I mean, I always, I always was interested in music. Like since I was a kid and shit, like, I always been on like making music and you know, fucking with it. But I ain't never take it seriously until like maybe like two years ago, like dropping shit for real, for real. I was just hanging around niggas that made music all the time in school. Like, we would, niggas would skip class and make a song or something. I would just be in the studio and just like be in the studio with my niggas, just kind of inspiring. Like, yo, I should really let me start doing this shit for a while. So. How does it feel now that you're taking it seriously and you being in it? Like, how does that? Um, shit, it's hard. You know, like, it's, it's, it's hard. It's a lot of talent. I'm surrounded by a lot of talent. It's cool because. Um, everything is around me, so like it's a lot of my shows, so everything is just close. And people are over here is great, but everyone's just not supportive, so we just we doing fun. Do you always want to stay in Georgia, or you want to move to another state? Um, shit, like I mean, I don't know. Whatever God take me, really. You know, I got roots in, in New York, so that's that's somewhere I've always I see myself going to. Living like finally, you know, Cali far too, but you know. Yeah, I'm trying to have multiple properties, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to be international with it, you feel me? I'm trying to have a quick in Paris, yeah, so that's what it is. I saw recently on your Insta that you went to New York. How was that true? Oh, that shit was fun. You know, I got family. Shout out to them. They got a tie out there, you know what I'm saying? Wild baby out there. Seven months ago, you dropped a song, Blue Sky, with Majin Zay. Yeah, I had to make a way. Yeah. I had to make a play. Yeah. I bought my fade away. Yeah. Used to be a little nigga. Yeah. Fantasizing by jazz. Yeah. It's now a nigga making figures. Yeah. How have you grown yeah. since the release of that song? Damn, it's crazy that it was seven months ago. Like, that shit felt like hella long ago. But um, the shit that just speaks in itself, like, it's been... Not that long, but shit's felt like hella long. There's been hella shit going on since then, so the niggas been out here, like, hella content, hella shit just dropping since that. That was really kind of like the starting point, like, you know what I'm saying? It was my first video. Um, I never actually dropped an MP3 anywhere, but that, that shit was hard, man. Shout out to my niggas at Dark Side Shit. Since the last interview, I know that you were working on your tape, Walk and Roll, but now the tape is actually released. How has the momentum been for that? Oh, um, bro, that shit has been, shit has been unreal. Like, I really, that shit's crazy, bro. I'm gonna lie, like, shit's been, shit has been unreal. Like, like, I don't know how to explain it, but um, I appreciate everybody that fucks with it. Like, shit's just crazy. Like, how, how that shit really came together was just so crazy. Like, niggas didn't even, I wasn't even gonna really drop an EP. I just, I think I had just started that rock and roll shit. I'm like, bro, I gotta, I gotta use this shit for anyone else uses this shit, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, let me just drop an EP. I was really gonna put like three songs on there, but like I ended up putting five on there and shit is crazy. Two of my personal favorite songs off the tape, Front of the Plane and Guap. What's your like favorite song and how did you um, come about making it? Shit, my favorite song, Front of the Plane, like hands down, that's my favorite song so far that I have even out right now. But um, yeah, that shit was just hard. Like I feel like everything about that song. I need to talk I feel like I run the game too. I feel great. You know, start this shit up. Start it off. Have you done any performances yet? Um, yeah, shit. I got shit. I don't know when you dropping this shit, but I should have a show on Saturday, whatever, after this drops. But, um, I got a show on the 26th. I'm out here. I'm doing, I'm just, you know, out here. Like, you're going to see me at all these shows. You're going to see me. And it's going to be piped up because it's just the people. That's how it be. That's how it go. What's your favorite performance then so far? Um, damn, 
that's hard. That's still hard. Cause I had some fog moments. It's like you got it was hard. Like that shit, that whole night was hard. So that was cool. We on the broken stage. Um, I did, did some shows out in Nigeria this December. That shit was fun too. Um, Native Land. That shit was crazy. So just being in the same stage is like stepped up and like whiz kid. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit was fun. So. Oh shit, and I opened up for Lil Baby. Facts. I opened up for Lil Baby in uh, Nigeria too. That shit was fun. Do you ever get nervous when you're performing on stage? Nervous? Not no more. I know when I started, when I had, when my songs were a little bit more like, like when I when I had dropped uh, No Flex and when I had like Elevate, like it was songs that it was, I wasn't really just coming off the bat with hella energy. I was kind of working my way, like even in the song. So, but now like shit, like when the game, like, you can't even like listen to that shit and not, you know, fuck with it. So it's just like, it's easier just with the music that I have now, it's like, it's easier to perform. Like, I don't even, it's like clockwork or all type shit. What is like one of your dream places to perform? Oh or shit. Or artists that you want to work with? was Nigeria and I, and I did that shit. That was why um, I want my next, I want to do, I want to do a European tour. So that's my next, my next site. So I'm trying to be like in France, trying to be in England. Shout out to all my niggas in England. I have all the niggas out there. So. That's gonna be the vibe. I'm trying to do a show out in Canada too. So that's you know, my manager in Canada. We're gonna do that. So. How is the love for like your music and your supporters and fans? How is that like overseas compared to the like, um, where you are? You know, it's crazy. It's like it's kind of like almost the same. Like I mean, I feel like niggas they like I have niggas that fuck with me generally here, and I have niggas that fuck with me over there too. And it's just like I fuck with all the niggas that listen to so they listen to me. Fuck with my shit, cause y'all just some real niggas, and that's how it is. Loading Magazine posted a snippet showing you have another EP in the works. Facts. Yeah, shout out to Loading Magazine. Shout out to my nigga Colson. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I got hella shit. Like, it's hella shit. I told y'all this year's gonna be crazy, so like, stay tuned. I got really, it's really a tape. I got my tape on the way, so like, I don't even think I don't have an EP for real. I think I'm gonna drop right now. I think my next thing I'm dropping is my tape. Be on the lookout for that. What type of songs or like how many songs would you have on this tape? Because the other one had like tape. Um, yeah, it's gonna be. It's definitely gonna be more fuller than my than walk around. Like, Cause you know that was an EP, so thinking like maybe nine, ten. You know, you gonna it's gonna have hella content. Like, you gonna really see and hear who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this time. Will you have any features on that tape? Yeah, or? for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. Or do you want to say anything to any supporters or fans or anybody watching this video? Um, shit, man, I can tell y'all, let's get it, man. This year's gonna be crazy, like I said. Just stay tuned. I got hella shit, hella content. Too much video dropping soon. You're gonna be, like, it's not gonna be hard to find me. You're gonna be seeing my name a lot of more places, a lot of more recent um, more time. So, let's do it, man. Let's go all the way this year. Let's so the man. This is the Joey Chaz exclusive. Leave me, me alone, I don't got time for that mumbo jumbo I like to be on my own, but I stay with the gang if you try to rumble Bitch, I'm the lion, the king of the jungle